my friends, how are you today? I hope you are doing well. It is a cloudy, rainy type day, which I absolutely love. A day of rest, a day of peace, a day to just look around and a quote from the taxi driver that sticks into my head, watch the rain, wash the filth off the streets. Absolutely love it. So I figured I would talk since it's a gloomy type doc type day. I would talk about one of my favorite horror slash kids movies. This is a movie that you could watch with your child. This is a Disney movie, but it is a Disney movie with a little bit of a twist. And the movie I am talking about here is Something Wicked This Way Comes. Hellfire storms are coming. An electric storm to clean your streets and wash away your troubles. For every heart, there exists a wish. You ever play the numbers, Mr. Holloway? Hey, uh, never take risks. For every soul, there burns a desire. Oh, I hate you, Always was. It smells to me like we're gonna have visitors. But never whisper your dreams for someone. <laughs> and for every wish, there will be a price. Yes. For every desire, there will be a cost. My name is Mr. Dark. I advise you to respect it. Dad, please be careful. Will. Will. Uh, these boys I'm looking for, perhaps you know them? Mm. Fine boy, fine. Both of them quite a credit to this little town, if you want to know the truth. I do want to know the truth, sir. And the truth is that you are lying. I am pricking up my thoughts. Something wicked this way comes. Then rang the bells, both loud and deep. God is not dead, nor doth he sleep. Where do you come from? The dust. Where do you go to? The grave. Yes. We are the hungry ones. Your torments call us like dogs in the night. And we do feed, and feed well. You tell me where the boys are hiding, and I can make you young again. Ray Bradbury's fantasy tale of light and darkness is getting closer. Something wicked this way comes. Yeah, it's a lot to say. Something Wicked This Way Comes. I saw this movie, I must have been maybe, I would say 10 or so, 10 or 11. Um, we were visiting a, a friend of the family. It was on the TV and I was blown away. It was just, it ropes you in right at the beginning and it just keeps you going and going and going. And it's one of those movies that you can absolutely watch with your kids. Tell a little bit about it. Here it comes. So it is about a carnival that's coming into town. Now the carnival comes into town in October, which is not normal for carnivals to come to town in October. So it makes the kids a little curious. It's, there's two kids, uh, the, movie, the show is, the, the movie is about, wow. The movie is focused around two kids, pretty much. And one of the chil children, uh, wow, can't talk today. This is terrible. The movie is, the movie talking too fast. It's the problem. I need to slow down. Like I said, it's a rainy day. I need to calm down. I need to relax. Um, I'm not doing what I what I should be, what I told myself I should be doing. So I need to calm down. All right, here we go. So the movie is, is geared around these two children who are best friends. And one of the children's, one of the children, one, the child's father. Now the father is an older man. I guess he must have had the child at a later age in his life. He's probably in his 
his 50s or so, and the child is probably around, I would say, 12 or so, 11, 12. So he probably had him in, in a, a, well, 50s, 60s, wow, I'm really, I, you guys are all going to comment and be like, wow, dude, that's, that's not too old. He should have had it in the kid's 12, so that means 10. Okay, so the father's probably in his 60s, okay? <laughs> And it stars Jason Robod and uh, from, from Dream a Little Dream and from Parenthood. Um, and the two kids are excited because this carnival is coming into town. And carnivals don't come into town in October. Okay, it's very, very odd. The, the weather and everything. And if you, you know your own hometown, you very rarely ever see a carnival come in October. It's usually during the summertime. So they're excited because this carnival is coming to town. But unfortunately for them, this carnival is being led by the devil. Or a devil-like creature, or a devil-like character. Uh, this man has lived throughout time, and he has brought his carnival throughout time to these small towns. And what he usually does is he he takes their their souls, he takes takes their their lives. He he picks certain children and people, and he takes them with him to join his carnival. And it's just a great, great, great story. To watch with your kids. Um, it was written by Ray Bradbury, which if anybody knows what the Ray Bradbury Theater is, I had to look because I, I forget, but I have the Ray Barry, Bradbury Theater uh, box set filed away somewhere. I've watched them. Good storytelling. Um, almost like I, I put him in the same lines as a Alfred Hitchcock and a, uh, a uh, Rod Serling type situation, Twilight Zone and uh, Alfred Hitchcock Presents type thing. And he wrote this story, kids, and I guess I'm, I'm assuming that... Uh, Disney picked up the rights for it because it wasn't Disney originally, and now it's Disney. So anyway, uh, Carnival comes into town, run by the devil. The kids, of course, curious. They sneak into the Carnival, and they're, they're trying to see what's going on everything. Well, they accidentally sneak into a certain part of the Carnival where this uh, devil-like creature is... Um, well, he's not really a creature. He's a, he's a man at first, but then he starts to reveal the, 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 the truth that he's actually evil. But... um. What he does is he has this uh, carousel that when you run it forward, he can make you go older. And when you run it backwards, he can make you go younger. And one of the children wants to grow up really fast. He can't. His father, his father took off on him. He, he lives with his mother. His mother's dating. He's trying to. He's, he's having a real difficulty being. He's almost like the man of the house. The other, the other child, his his father's older, and he's uh, he's a little bit upset because he can't have those moments with his father, you know, the, the playing ball and running around because his father really can't catch his breath, and he's, you know, he's old and he's tired, so he can't do the things that that th the child expects him to do. So these kids are battling with these little demons themselves, and one of the children, he wants to be older. He, he's tired of, of, you know, kind of being the man of the house, and, and he wants he wants to go forward into the uh, onto the carousel, and he wants to become older. Well, they sneak in, and the devil-like character catches them watching what he's doing, and now he is on the hunt for these children. I'm not going to give any more. I'm not going to give away any more than that. It is a really, really good movie for parents and children to watch together. It does have some very, um, it, uh, should I say, scary elements, scary elements, and there's even one element that is uh, almost like a, a sexual type element, but. The way it's filmed, the kid's really not going to uh, understand. So it's almost like a um, belly dancer type element, you know what I mean? And, and uh, it, it's, it, I don't think it would, it would be so intense for a child nowadays, you know. But I know as a child, when I saw the scene, it was kind of kind of set me back. And I was kind of like, well, you know, what's going on here? You know, it's kind of a weird kind of feeling, you know. So, so once again, it's another one of those things. It is. It may be a Disney movie. It may be a kid's movie. But please, watch the movie first. Then watch it with your child. If you feel like it is appropriate for your child. It might be a little bit too intense for your child. You're, you you know your children, so you should know if this film is too intense for them to watch. You know, they might, you might say, oh, this is too scary, or, or uh, this is too, but I, I'll tell you right now, if you have a, a child that's, that's, you know, 10 and up, and you have this special little bond with them, and they, they're very, you could tell if your child can, can handle things, you know, you, you should be able to tell by, by, like 10 years old, if, they, if your child can handle this type of uh, horror slash, you know, storyline. But I'll tell you right now, if you have never seen Something Wicked This Way Comes, it is a must-see for, for any movie fan, okay? If you are a, a fan of Disney, fan of movies, fan of horror, fan, fan of children's movies, a fan of, of, um, uh, of like, mystery and, and action, it's got it all. It's, 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 it's really, really well done. 
absolutely one of my favorites. I watched it with every single one of my children. And like I said, it was one of these things where I was younger. Uh, we were at the house and, and we, my my father's friend put it on and, and I, I, I was like glued to the screen. And unfortunately, we had to leave early. So, you know, it was like I didn't get to finish watching the movie. And it kind of kind of messed me up for years because I was like this portions of the movie stuck into my head for years and years and years. But then finally, once I got older, I was like, OK. And of course, the title, Something Wicked This Way Comes. Big title. Big title for a kid to remember. You know, you know, I, I could barely remember things now as I'm getting older. But as a kid, the title is just so, so long. Something Wicked This Way Comes. You know what I mean? It's like for you to remember what the title was. As a matter of fact, when I was a kid, I don't even think I asked what the title was. It was just, it, I, if I remember correctly, they were giving a, if, if anybody remembers when they used to do this, um, Cable was giving like a free trial of the Disney Channel. And uh, you had the Disney Channel over the weekend. It was kind of how they promoted their channel back in the day. And you would have it for a couple of days and, and <laughs> most of the, most of the, the people I knew would break out their, their v v VCRs and they would record everything and anything that they could possibly record in those two days. And the only thing I kind of stunk about it was that every once in a while they would put like a little uh, disclaimer on the bottom of the screen that would say, uh, please subscribe to the Disney Channel uh, and it would give you the information to subscribe. So if you were a person that recorded these things, you would have that on your movies for the rest of your, you know, until, until you were able to replace it with a, you know, another, either a VHS copy or a DVD copy or a Blu-ray copy or whatever. So I remember having many, 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 I'd be watching like Peach Dragon and it would say, please subscribe to the Disney Channel, or, you know, because my parents got these for a the couple of days and they, they just, they just left it on record. And I, I remember them hitting record and it would just, you know, two or three movies in a row, just record, uh, you know, on the S, S, SLP speed. I know, okay, I know SP speed was the real good. LP was the, the two movies. SLP was like, eight hours or something like that so, so they would just let it record and that would keep me busy you know uh for for months later you know what i mean so and and they would have to actually subscribe when it cost any money out of their pocket to subscribe to the disney channel because they got most of the movies right there you know for for the two days that it was free but i remember going over his house I remember seeing this movie and it just stuck and it is a great 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 movie i mean i cannot enforce the fact that this movie has been embedded in my head since the day that I saw it. You know, some movies just linger in your head. You know, you just, they, they star in there and, and you, you, you pick up different mannerisms from the movie. You, you might pick up different quotes from the movie. You might uh, see things and it triggers memories from the movie. This is one of those movies. I, I have to put it in, in my top 100 of my favorite movies. This is one, another one of those go-to movies that, you know, Saturday night, Friday night, you want to just throw in a movie, not really think too much because yeah, I've seen it so many times. There's not really a lot of thought process in it, but it is a, a very good family movie, and it is something. It is a thinker a little bit, a little bit of a thinker, you know, because the father's battling with these these demons of being too old to be able to spend time with his kid, and you know, do things with his kid, and uh, you know, the kid he's just looking for something that just, just isn't there, and one of the other the other kid is just is, is wishing his life away, you know. What I mean, it's one of those things that makes you want to think, you know, it's like. Why would I want to get older? My kids all tell me all the time, oh, I wish I was older. I can't wait till I get to be this. Oh, I can't wait to get that. I can't wait to get this. Well, I'll tell you right now, <laughs> from experience, you know, when I was younger, I could not wait to get a job. Well, I got a job. I got a job when I was real, real young. And you just reach a certain peak in your life where you're kind of like, eh, you're kind of burnt out. You know, when you're like 12 and a half, 13, 14, 15 years old, you know what I mean? You probably shouldn't be working a full-time job. It, it would probably burn you out, you know what I mean, by by a certain time. And you, I know... Some kids need money. They want money or whatever, you know. But the way I feel in this house is like I'd rather have my son or daughters, you know, do, you know, chores around the house and let me give you your allowance. You know what I mean? Let me help you out. You know what I mean? You don't need that much money. And then the next thing is, oh, I can't wait to get a car, you know. And then you get a car and then you get all the all the, the responsibilities with a car. You know, not only is it a responsibility to drive a car, but it's a responsibility to put gas in the car and pay your car insurance. And, you know, and if you buy a brand new car, then you got car payments to make, you know. Is is it exciting to get a get something new? Of course, but is is it exciting to be paying on these things for the rest of your life? No, it's not not a lot of fun. And then you move on to the other. Oh, I can't wait to move out. And then you move out and you realize you got bills to pay and you got bills on top of bills on top of bills to pay. Why don't people just slow down and enjoy life day by day? That, that that's this that's that's what I kind of get from this thing. This, this kid in here, he wants to rush his life. He wants to get on this carousel and he wants to get older. And and by doing this, you're kind of speeding up your, your your childhood. You know, when you're a child, you should relax and enjoy your childhood. That's what I want my kids to do. Don't, stop trying to grow up so fast. You know what I mean? It's like life goes by in a blink of an eye, and people people don't really understand this. They really don't don't embrace the fact that you know 
yesterday you were probably like five and then today you are 25 and then tomorrow you're 36 and then the next day you're 65 and the next day you're 75 and the next day you're dead you know what i mean it's like they don't embrace the fact that every day is precious and this is one of those movies where it's like you know even though the the, the father's old he could still do things with his son you know he could still have those moments with his son and even though the other kid is acting like an adult, his father ha has abandoned them and the mother's struggling and everything like that, you know, there's still time to be a kid if you let there be time. You know, some people just look at it like, I give up. I can't do it. I just give up and I have to live my life this certain way. Well, this movie will really make you think about that kind of stuff. And I love movies that I can be the character. You know, I actually put myself in the character's footsteps and and, and the character's the, the, their mannerisms and the way that they, they live their lives. And I'm like, wow, you know what? I, I would love to be that character at that point in time. And this is one of those movies that is absolutely like that. So uh, with that said, I don't see this too many uh, in too many places. I don't see this at like a, uh, a um, you know, a, uh, what's, what's, I think it's still, like a Walmart or a Target or whatever. I, I don't see it. If you want to get it, Amazon has it. If you want to get it, eBay has it. Price isn't too bad. I saw it, the lowest price on eBay was like $10.65. Once again, this is a DVD. There is no Blu-ray copy as of yet. I would love for there to be a Blu-ray copy. And of course, as soon as there is, I will definitely be picking it up. I don't care if it has special features or not because uh, the quality is still good. But, you know, of course, when they do the Blu-ray, they're going to touch it up a little bit. It will look just that much better. Um... But what a great movie. You want to spend, pick up the movie, order it, have it come in, make some popcorn, sit down with your kids and have that memory that will last them a lifetime. For, they'll forever have this stuck in their head. And they'll remember you, where you were, what you were doing, how you were doing it, and it will be stuck in their head. Like I remember the first time I seen this movie, I remember where I was. And what was going on? You know, it wasn't a, a spectacular memory, but it was a memory just the same. You know, and you could be having one of them with your kids. So something with ah, whoa, so something wicked this way comes. DVD, get it. Please hit that like button. Please hit that subscribe button, and I will see you later.